Alrighty, so for brownies, we're gonna start out by preheating the oven to 350 degrees, and then we're gonna line a baking pan, a eight inch square baking pan with parchment paper. We're gonna lightly grease the bottom of it. I just used some non-stick cooking spray, but you can use anything to grease it. And you wanna have the parchment paper long enough so that it hangs over on two sides. That will make it easier later to take the brownies out for cutting. Next, we're gonna add the eggs, that's three eggs. We're gonna add a third cup oil or you can also use melted butter. Either way is good. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. And we're gonna whisk that together until it's nicely blended. like that. Next we're going to add the brownie mix, all of it. And we're going we're gonna to whisk that just until it comes together and everything is nicely moistened. Um, you might have to switch to a rubber spatula halfway through, which is fine. I'm just going to keep mixing until all the dry ingredients are well moistened. There you go. Then we'll pour it into the pan. Now because these are made with almond flour, they may look a little more grainy than regular brownie mix, but they come out beautifully moist when they're baked. It out. All right, so here we have the baked brownies. Um, they were in the oven for roughly 34 minutes. Um, it's anywhere from 33 to 38, depending on the heat of your oven. So we're going to do the toothpick test and make sure that it's baked through. Yeah, so you see just a little bit of chocolate, but no crumbs, nothing wet. So they are definitely done. We're going to let them cool and then we shall slice them so you can see what they look like. If you don't like how the crust looks um, when it's all puffed up, you can kind of gently just press it down while it's still hot and deflate it. This way all your brownies are the same thickness and you don't have to worry about a puffy crust. I know some people don't appreciate that. Okay, so here we have our cooled brownies that we can easily lift out of the pan just like so. And it's ready to be cut and enjoyed. Okay, so with brownies you want to cut straight down, not sawing or anything, but you want to just kind of cut straight down and then gently pull it out. There we go, check this out. Super fudgy and soft with chocolate chips in it. And very moist. It will stay moist for several days because it's made with almond flour. It's completely grain free, so even those who can't have grains can enjoy these. There you have it.